journalist Richard Fitzwilliams believes Meghan Markle will not reach out to Samantha while she is visiting the UK, despite her issuing an emotional public apology live on television. Meghan Markle will not meet with Samantha during her half-sister's stay in the UK, a royal expert has predicted. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, the insider declared, there's absolutely no possibility of Samantha Markle meeting Meghan. Mr. Fitzwilliams also said that Samantha's public apology on The Jeremy Vine Show was not genuine. He said, I think her so-called apology was part and parcel of a load of nonsense. Quite frankly she has been a bitter and vicious critic of Meghan. Her comments about the marriage and her comments about Thomas Markle and Meghan, all of this has been deliberately designed to cause trouble. She should simply shut up. Meghan Markle's half-sister has sensationally apologized to the Duchess of Sussex while speaking live on The Jeremy Vine Show. Samantha Markle said, I'm hoping that we can have a happy ending. Meghan's half-sister defended her outbursts against the Duchess, claiming she was lashing out at the media and was given to speaking publicly after being unable to contact the royal privately. She said, We were hoping that private channels could be used. When they failed we went public. The public were making a mockery of my family and it had to stop. Perhaps I was frustrated. I was lashing out more at the media. Meghan did not send a birthday card to her father Thomas Markle in July, leading to her half-sister Samantha tweeting in August, Happy birthday Meg. It would be so lovely and appropriate of you to send Dad a belated birthday card for his July 18th. At Kensington Royal Cheers. Speculating on whether Meghan will seek to resolve issues with her father, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliam said, It's very unfortunate that there's obviously a rift between Meghan and her father, but this has been going on for probably some time. Whilst there is trouble, expect the situation to continue. Obviously we hope that in the future time, and this will be done in the quiet, it won't be done in the eye of the media, the two will be reconciled. But this will be something again that won't be a photo opportunity. He added, It's been very difficult for Meghan, her father is retired, he is reclusive, he is in ill health and he has been very ill-advised. One of his advisors has been Samantha, and she has been pure po- Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister is just one short flight away from the Duchess of Sussex and looks set to reach London for their first face-to-face -face showdown after months of raging outbursts. Samantha Markle, 53, is currently in Italy, according to her agent and PR manager, Rob Cooper. But instead of enjoying the long-lasting hot weather gripping the country, Samantha launched an ultimatum to her half-sister Meghan saying through her manager she will make her voice heard in London. Meghan, who married Prince Harry on May 19, cut off of her life her father's side of the family in the run-up to the ceremony, according to various claims made by both her dad, Thomas Markle, SNR, and Samantha. Now, the 53-year-old is demanding a face-face showdown with Meghan over their father's health. Explaining his client and him have been snubbed by the royals, Mr. Cooper wrote on Twitter, Samantha Markle is coming to the UK. After making numerous attempts in private to arrange a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Duchess of Sussex to discuss their 74-year-old father's health Kensington Palace have refused to respond. I fear Meghan may not be made aware of these discreet attempts and therefore making this public is the only option we have left. I currently have Samantha in Europe with just one short flight away. Mr. Cooper explained Samantha would prefer to discuss their family's troubles in private despite having spoken to the media multiple times in the past months. He continued, this doesn't need to be public. We would prefer to keep this private. Samantha is coming to the UK this week, like it or not. The Duchess half-sister didn't speak about a possible trip to Britain but posted a photo of herself inside an airport terminal on a social media adding new profile pic. The family drama, dubbed Markle Debacle, is believed to have unfolded weeks before the royal wedding. 
Mr. Markle, SNR reportedly upset the royal family by selling staged paparazzi pictures and revealing what he said were Prince Harry's political stances on Brexit and Donald Trump. He didn't fly to England to walk his daughter down the aisle because he was recovering from heart surgery and is also believed to have said Meghan, 37, would be better off if he died. In an interview to the Mail on Sunday he revealed he has been cut off completely by Meghan since she joined the royals. Mr. Markle, SNR said, I'm really hurt that opening bracket Meghan closing bracket s cut me off completely. I used to have a phone number and text number for her personal aides at the palace, but after I said a few critical words about the royal family changing Meghan, they cut me off. Those numbers were disconnected, they no longer work. I have no way of contacting my daughter. Samantha, who is related to Meghan only through their father, took his side and has lashed out many times at the royals and her half-sister's behavior. On Prince Harry's birthday, she wrote on Twitter, Happy Birthday Harry. As you mack down on your birthday cake, think about the birthday wishes you never extended to your father-in-law. Samantha also said Harry needed to grow up and be a role model to William and Kate's children by making up with Mr. Markle SNR. The Duchess of Sussex stepped out for her first solo engagement as a royal today, and she also marked a very important anniversary. A year ago today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their first public appearance together at a wheelchair tennis match at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Markle's former home base. Prior to that, the only confirmation we had of their romance was a statement from Kensington Palace in November 2016. The first official photos of the now Duke and Duchess of Sussex out together were filled with adorable PDA, cheeky smiles, and genuine warmth. Harry and Meghan looked besotted with one another and they still do. For Meghan, in particular, the past year has been filled with dramatic changes. Back in September 2017, Meghan was still an actress on Suits and a resident of Toronto, where the show filmed. She still had an Instagram account, which she used regularly, and her lifestyle blog, The Tig. She was also a Twitter user, and regularly posted photos of her friends, vacations, and work life on social media. But on November 21, 2017, Meghan's normal life changed forever when it was reported that the future Duchess had officially moved to London. At the same time, it was reported that she finished all of her filming commitments on Suits, and was moving to England permanently. Days later, on November 27, 2017, Meghan and Harry announced their engagement. The news was revealed on Kensington Palace's social media accounts along with a photo from the couple's first public appearance together at the Invictus Games just two months earlier. Later that same day, Meghan and Harry spoke to the BBC about their plans to marry, and it was already clear the actress' life had changed dramatically, and that really loves Prince Harry. The very next day, on November 28, 2017, the USA Network revealed that Meghan would officially be leaving suits at the end of Season 7. Breaking with royal tradition, Meghan spent Christmas with the royals, proving that she was already considered a part of the family. The Queen reportedly waived her rule regarding only spouses attending the festive celebrations, allowing Meghan to attend as Harry's fiance. Shortly after Christmas, in early January 2018, Meghan deleted her online presence, including lifestyle website The Tig, her Instagram, and her Twitter account. As she was about to officially join the royal family, she appeared to be making more of her personal life private, in keeping with her soon-to-be husband's own practices. Excitement about the royal wedding consumed the first few months of 2018, with Meghan and Harry tying the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19. In a custom Givenchy gown, Meghan officially became the Duchess of Sussex. The former actress incorporated many American touches into the royal wedding, signaling that she has not forgotten her heritage. Almost a month after the royal wedding, Meghan made her very first solo outing with Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Harry's grandmother. The duo appeared to get along very well, and their outing, without any other members of the royal family, showed the immense amount of faith the royals already had in Meghan.
A slew of royal events later, Meghan is attending her first solo event as a royal, exactly one year after she first stepped out publicly with Prince Harry. With her and Harry's first royal tour due to star next month, during which they'll travel to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, it's clear that the Duchess of Sussex's life will continue to evolve rapidly. But her first year in the royal spotlight proves Meghan will handle every new change with aplomb.